office uh, hotels which were stuck for a while are uh, the main, the primary focus of uh, of uh, investment at this point. Uh, and needless to say, I don't know if you noticed so many buildings pop up that have no names that were uh, done for multifamily. So there's clearly a, a big uh, demand for, for multifamily as well. Where we're seeing the opportunities is the remaining areas in between. Uh, Wynwood's already developed, the same district is right there. Where we're seeing a great growth would be probably for financing would be towards Magic City, towards Alapata. These are the up and coming areas that people are assembling land and looking at more long term projects. So that's where we see the future in lending. Um, we're seeing a lot of land deals be, uh, being done. Uh, and those developments are, well, Magic City is huge what's happening over there. And it's already a reality. So those are the main focus in Miami. Entry jobs, which is what we're looking for, uh, the workforce that you're looking for, it's not affordable for them to be here. Definitely there has to be a bigger synergy between government and, uh, and the companies to train, to give, to facilitate them, to be able to make it easy for them to start off here. It's tough, like you said, your, your daughter's looking at other areas first and then coming back here. To start here from the get-go is difficult, so that's the gap we have to reach. On the finance side, the retail side, we've seen a very big decline. We have seen it. Uh, I guess it's a little bit driven by the concept that for us, that the, the machine working basically the Amazon proof concept that we're working. Uh, high retail rents are justified when you have the density and not only the sustainability of a project, because you have the development of it, you need the, you need the core. Uh, for you to, to be fed of. Uh, so like uh, Lancet, just a standard retail doesn't really make sense unless it's, it's a service retail. Service retails are, the rents are uh, on the climb while uh, co uh, commercial retail is uh, on a decline. That's our, our trend that uh, we're really seeing. There's still many big, big projects that are gonna incorporate the city into what a huge city like New York is. We have already many different pockets that are their own cities. Like in Berkeley, I've been in Berkeley for 20 years. If I wanted to go for a drink, I had to go to South Beach. If I wanted to go to a nice restaurant, Gables. Whoever lives in Berkeley doesn't live in now. Whoever lives in the Wingwood, the San District doesn't live in that area. Those pockets, now that the downtown is being developed, no one's going to leave your area. You're building everything for everyone over there. But no one's really going to live as connected, as connected as we are. I think we're on the right track. Yes, we need a a little bit more infrastructure to support it, to be that growth, that master plan that we had to be responsible about the services that you're giving it. But I think we're completely in the right track and we've already skipped from me living in the town to living in the uh, <laughs>